happy Monday, my stamping friends. This is Jenny from Celebrate the Journey. And it is Lunch and Learn today. We've just returned from a long Thanksgiving weekend. I hope everybody had a great time if you celebrate Thanksgiving. Uh, we did. Got in a lot of eating, reading, uh, crafting, just some fun things going on. So it's nice to be back at the craft table though. So let's get started. I have a card for you today. You've probably seen cards similar to this before, but it's a, a, just a little different way of putting it together. This is called Stack, Cut, and Shuffle. And so we're just going to get started, and I will show you how that works. I put my little jewels to the side. We need a card base, and I'm going to use Evening Evergreen. I'm going to cut that. I need to score it first at five and a half and then cut it at four and a quarter. Oh, I'm glad you had a good Thanksgiving. We did too, Karen. It's always nice to just have a little break in our days. Now we're gonna make four cards, so I'm doing four card bases. Hi, Shree, how are you today? Thanks for joining us. Now we can go ahead and crease our cards. We'll use our bone folder and get a nice Fold. We're going to use the cutting board again, so that's why I've kind of left it here. It's in the way though, isn't it? So we have four card bases. I pre-cut four inches by five and a quarter for inside pieces. So we'll put that to the side. Now here's how we're going to do our stack, cut, and shuffle. I have four pieces of um, Eden's Garden paper, and they are cut at four by five and a quarter. Now, you don't have to cut yours the same way I cut mine. Every time you do this, you can change it. So, I'm going to do all four of these at the same time. So, you want to make sure they're nice and lined up nicely. And I'm going to cut this at two and a half. Put these over to the side and we'll cut this one mm -hmm, three and a quarter. That sounds good. And we'll put that to the side. Okay. Now, this one, the little slim piece, we'll cut it at. Let's see. Let's do it at two and an eighth. I have no idea. See, each time you do this, you can do it different. Now there's our our cut papers. 
Now we're going to shuffle them. We're going to leave the first one as it is. We're going to take this one and put it behind. We'll take this one behind and this one behind. And this one, this one, this one. And now we've shuffled. So we'll get our cards. This is pretty quick and easy. I think you're gonna like it. Now it works best, I think, for this to use Tombow so that you have some wiggle room. You're using uh, the tape runner. You might not be able to move things. This is such pretty paper, isn't it? We're gonna just put this here and we're gonna put it right up to the edge. So we're leaving our border around the piece, but not on this one. I'm not putting anything on the inside pieces. Oop, got to put that back. Now we'll take this one and put it here. Now you're going to want to, if you're going to try this, pay attention if your pattern has a paper that definitely has to be I could slide that up a little bit, but it's just, if it has a, a direction, this is okay because it could be going horizontal or vertical. But if it was flowers growing in a certain direction, you might want to make sure you do that. Okay, that's our first card started. Try to get a little better, a little closer to the top edge on this one. You have to be, you have to pay attention a little bit here. So each card's going to have the four designs, but they'll still be different because each design will be in a different space. And if you want, see if I can't grab that up. Mm -hmm. No, can't do it. If you want, you can leave some border on the inside. And we might do that on this one because it just doesn't look quite right to have it off. So I'm going to leave a, a gap there. And we'll leave a gap here. It'll be fine to do that. Actually, on my uh, some other cards I made like this, I left that gap. So you'll be able to see how that looks. I actually kind of like it, but I was following the directions on this card. I don't know, you don't have to follow directions, do you? You can make it your own. Good morning, Kay, or afternoon, I guess, for you guys. Thanks for joining me. All right, that's our second card. You can see it looks um, it looks nice with the gaps, but it looks nice without them. So we'll see if we can do some of each. Maybe I need a... Um, 
that one's gonna be just about right. Space marker. So we'll do two with gaps and two without, and we'll see how that works. We might just do only one with the gaps. That looks pretty. I just think this is the prettiest paper. That's our third card. I'm actually liking it with no gaps. So once I've paid attention and got things lined up correctly, I think that looks better. can always um, trim your card down a tiny bit. This one's going to come right up because it hasn't had time to stick. Don't you love little mistakes? Creative expression is what it is. Oh. Now I've got glue on my fingers. There we go. Oh, that's much better. I don't know how at a sixteenth of an inch can make a difference, but it does. It's interesting because I had thought I would put this card on a soft succulent card base, but when I laid the pieces on there, they just, they didn't pop. It needs the dark evening evergreen behind it, in my opinion. It makes it, it pulls out the darker shades of each one of these pieces of paper. Alright, now we've got four cards. One goofy one with uh, gaps, but that's okay. Now we're going to decorate it. And I thought it would be pretty to put a, a gold flourish. So we're going to use some adhesive sheet to put that on with. I think I can just, oh, can't pay attention this morning. Oh. A week of cra no crafting makes me not have any sense. Yes. <laughs> I actually came in here Saturday, I think, to work. And I sat down and thought, you know what? I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to take another day off. And I did. It was, I had fun doing some other things. 
So we'll run this through the cut and emboss machine. I think we all need to relax sometimes. It has just a little bit of glue on it from my fingers. We can get it off easier. There we go. And we need a sentiment. So I pulled um, You Are So Worth Celebrating, and this is from All Squared Away. I'm always needing birthday cards, and I thought this would be a good birthday card. This way I have four cards done all at one time. Let's hope I can stamp this fairly straight. This is the scrap piece from when I trimmed down the insides. And we'll give this a mermaid tail. And probably right about there. And let's see, I think I have some ribbon around here. We're going to use some of the soft succulent. Well, you know what? We'll try both and see which one looks the best. Oh, I just knocked over the trash can. We'll make a bow with each color. Soft succulent and evening evergreen, and then we'll vote. See which one looks the best. It might need the darker. ribbon. I hope this, I hope they come out with lots of different colors of this ribbon because it ties so beautifully. It's soft and you can pull it tight and it doesn't stretch. And I like when you can trim it and make that Fancy fray look with it also. So I picked up the trash can. <laughs> and let's see how we can put this together. So each one can be different because of your layout. We put that right about there and then put our bow. I kind of like the dark. Yeah, the dark gives it a pop, doesn't it? Okay. We'll tie four more, three more bows. This is a nice that <clears throat> with the adhesive on here, you can just get this stuck pretty quick. 
if you don't have adhesive sheets, you can use some Tombow. If you don't have the gold foil, you can use it. Colored cardstock. This flourish is from the the ferns flourishing dies. The dies that come with evening Eden's Garden are a little bit um, more delicate, and I wanted a bolder flourish here. So now we need three more bows. Let's hope we have enough ribbon. Looks like it. We have been waiting for winter, but it's not, <laughs> it doesn't want to show up. I suppose once it shows up, we'll be sorry, but right now the weather is gorgeous. So, not cold. Had a little bit of wind one day last week, but nothing crazy. And here's our last bow. Pick up some of our trash here. Now through magic, I do have my, I went ahead and stamped some extra sentiments and cut some flourishes just so we'd have them ready bad thing about when you run this um, adhesive through the die cut, you can't find the seams. I can't. I can't see them very well. I know they're there, but... Now, this is the brushed metallic gold. Or it might be champagne. I'm not, you know... There's a darker gold and a lighter gold. This is the lighter. Either one would have worked. It's just what I grabbed off of the papers stack. Pull these out. This would be nice to have four cards already. Um, ready to go. This is the one with the gaps. I like it without the gaps, but it's still a cute card. little bow on there. I'm glad I picked the 
you never know until you start putting it together which color you're going to like the best. But I do like the darker ribbon. Yeah, I'm sure that we're still golfing here for... We probably will be golfing right up till Christmas, Karen. He golfs on a... Your grandson golfs on a team, doesn't he? It's always good to get that practice in while you can. cover up my words. <laughs> that one's a little longer than the other one. We're almost through here, but because I think we need a little bling, well, we need our insides too. Let's see if I have not put labels on these yet. That's not birthday. This one's the birthday. I've used the dies for this set, but not the sentiments too much. Happiest of birthdays. I think we'll have to find a little flourish to stamp on the inside. And we... Let me practice this on a piece of scrap. See if it's straight. I very rarely do this. I like my labels. <clears throat> We'll definitely need to decorate the inside of this. And I will wait and do that before I glue that down because I don't want to, if I mess it up, I can turn it over. But here's the garden gems. Aren't they pretty? We have to have some of these on our card. And I have not used these big ones yet. I've used the little ones. So we'll just use a large one and see where we want to put them. Or maybe I want small. That's a hard decision, isn't it? Yeah, I think I better go with the small. We'll use those big ones on a different card. I like that. You know, these have a little bit of cherry cobbler in them. Makes for a nice 
shimmer. So try this and share it with me. You can post it on my page. Or if you can't figure that out, let me know. You can email it to me. I'd love to see your pictures. So this is called Stack Cut Shuffle. And that's kind of fun. A little different than... what we usually do. And I know we've seen color block before, but I've never done it with all four at the same time. So here's this set of cards we made today. Here are some I made the other day. And these I did deliberately let the gap show because I felt with this uh, Calypso Coral, it needed the soft succulent showing through. This is from In Symmetry paper. And the sentiment is from the tropical, birthday tropical retreat. I'm not sure what it's called. So I did some with soft succulent and some with Calypso Coral. It's a nice way to use up your paper and get creative with your shuffling. So thanks for joining me today. I'm glad everybody had a great Thanksgiving and I will see you Wednesday for Recce Wednesday. Bye.